Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back in garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. I actually just woke up. Um, we have two days of holiday tomorrow and I actually fell asleep about, let's say, about 11 o'clock this morning, Sunday morning. And I just got up. Ah, I could not believe that because my body knows there's no work tomorrow. Um, so in this video feature, I'm actually going to feature the pineapple plant. I've been growing pineapples in a pot for quite a while now and they have been successful. Fun fact, do you know that a pineapple fruit is actually a cluster of flowers which will fuse together? A pineapple fruit will send out a red bud which will look something like what I'm going to show you and it will go from stage to stage so the crown will continue to develop and the crown is actually flowers so they're all flowers going together as they mature the flower actually fused together to form the new fruit you will notice that there's a lot of irregularly shaped sizes on the fruit like rings these are actually the flowers which mature and develop into the fruit so this pineapple plant which i'm about to transfer to my pineapple patch is actually a slip which matured into a new plant if you don't know the pineapple plant has about three stages or three new ways that you can actually regenerate it you can actually cut it and replant it i will show you in another video link how i actually did that so you can cut the crown of the pineapple, remove the leaves and allow the main center leaves to stay and again you could transplant that or plant that into the ground. There's also a part of the pineapple plant which is called the sucker. The sucker grows mainly at the base of the plant. The difference between the sucker and the slip which is another one is that the sucker has roots at the end of it a slip do not. This right here is actually a matured and developed slip. The slip plant or the slip is actually dependent on the mother plant's root system. I could have gone ahead and removed the slip and then plant it so it would generate a new root system and grow independently. However, I decided to allow it to stay attached to the original plant so that it could actually thrive and get its nutrients from the root system of the mother plant. Another fun fact is that a pineapple actually do not get most of the nutrients from the root system. It actually gets its from the leaves. That's why you see that the pineapple leaves are able to accept water. That's why they design a way to catch water. Now one of the things I have not been doing and I'm hoping to do pretty soon when I get my hands on some liquid organic fertilizer is to spray my pineapple plants with liquid organic fertilizer meaning chicken manure. I saw a store selling it. It's like liquid chicken manure and pen manure which have been um, treated not chemically but treated to be sold commercially in the store in a bottle. So what you can do is add it to the water and just shake it about and spray the plant. That way your pineapple plant will get nutrients um, from the spray, the organic chicky man your pen man your spray so I will eventually invest in that because I am actually planning um, to get assistance somewhere or another um, either to go fund me or through my government agency for the Ministry of Agriculture because I need some tools and stuff to actually allow my garden to thrive as it used to be for Maria okay guys as you can see right here this here is the original or the main plant the mother plant this plant right here I had all the leaves removed and this allowed this slip right here this is the slip right here this right here is the slip and this is the old plant this allowed the slip to mature and develop so after i removed the mother plant after i cut it off mainly this will develop what i could have done was remove the slip while it was young remove some of the lower leaves and then stick it into the ground or into a container which is the main way or only way i actually grow my pineapple in the back of the garden so i just wanted to show this to you now the other thing about it is that the slip when you grow in the slip it's not very strong it's it's solely holding on to the mother plant right there so i have to ensure that i put it in a way that it's not leaning because it could actually break off it could actually break off right here but i am going to transplant it well not transplant i'm going to transfer the pot into my pineapple punch patch <laughs> I'm going to transfer the pot into my pineapple patch so let's go ahead okay guys so i have to carefully very carefully try to get it up now it have a lot of prickles so one of the th other things about the pineapple is that they have a lot of prickles so let's go ahead and move this to the pineapple patch just want to show you the pineapple patch before I actually put the plant I'm gonna place the plant at the back there right at the back um, let me just allow me just to explain to you how this idea came about after Hurricane Maria um, this actually this area the sea did not actually come in this area but when it the sea hit the wall 
it flew over, I had some peppers there, the water came over the wall and it actually killed the peppers there. So I decided I'm going to transfer my pineapple, I had them in containers like that at the back, um, but they were not doing too well. So I decided to transfer them to this area right here. So basically these plants have been planted sometime in uh, summer, so I think I planted in August of 2017. And right now we are March 2019, so it's been a whole year and about uh, six months almost. So usually it can take a pineapple it can take at least 13 months to 20 months to grow and develop. And so far this one, you know, we've got one starting to flower. Again, I really feel if I get this chicken fertilizer to spray them, they will thrive much better. So I might have actually have to look for an organic. Um, fertilizer specifically for the pineapple because the pineapple is a very unique plant you do not need much fertilizer in the soil itself as you can see in the soil here this is actually river sand I only really really have river sand in there what I did at the base of the container I have some loamy soil and um, but the top mainly is river sand the reason I mainly use river sand is to reduce the risk of weed developing in there because the sand is almost pure so you don't have a lot of seeds in it compared to sand all over the place this one came out directly from the Lai river so you do not have a lot of seeds because if imagine all of this growing here and there's weed growing all among it it's going to be difficult to clean that's actually why some persons usually put a black flim or plastic a tough one on the root sorry on the soil and then stick the plant in to prevent weed from growing up among it so as I was explaining to you, it is actually a cluster of flowers. I don't know if you could see the purple flower right here. So this is how it grows. Um, right now I think it's gone from the red bud stage um, to the high crown. It's crowning right now. So the cluster of flowers will become a fruit. Okay guys, so I just want to show you this. I have different varieties of um, pineapple I believe here. Because this pineapple right here, this one all the way behind there, do not actually have any... Um, prickles or spikes on oh I got one okay it's not, not a lot <laughs> my bad it don't have a lot compared to this one which has you can I don't know if you can see it but you can, there, there's a lot of spike this one is actually smooth there's spike mainly in the center now another thing you can observe or you could look out for to know if your plant is actually getting ready to send out a red bud in the center will look red as you can see it's very green so this one is not gonna send out a bud anytime soon this one might send out a bud soon let's see this one here will not send out a bud soon this one will not send out a bud soon this one might looks like it's gonna send out another bud soon and this one it's not looking like that what I'm seeing something right down I'm not quite sure it's great but as you can see the red stands out that's why it's called a red bud um, okay so I'm just going to transfer my other plants right now so that you guys can see so I'm now going to transfer this one to the back voila so here you have it guys transferred my potted pineapple with the other patch so it's doing pretty well so far thank god no weed issue but it is doing pretty well oh another thing is that it needs a lot of sun guys pineapple needs a lot of sun hot weather okay so please ensure that you plant your plant in an area or location with plenty of sun um, allow me to show you what the pineapple will see in the sky so the sun will rise from this area right here coming up that way and uh, as you can see nice clear sky and uh, when it's somewhere there it's sunset soon so as you can see I have a lot a lot a lot of sunlight it has a lot of sunlight you can get a lot of sunlight coming up from here so I just want to encourage you please ensure that you plant your pineapple plant in a very sunny location and of course it has a lot of spikes so do not plant it where you would often walk okay because it will prick you as you can see I planted mine in this corner right here and I am very satisfied with this location it's yeah, I like the location and watch this Mr. Moringa decided it's still growing 
the moringa plant is not giving up so you guys see why i would need to get rid of the moringa plants it's gonna get big again and then it's gonna cast shadow um so we'll see what will happen a lot of persons are not too happy that i would have to take it down but you know you gotta do what you've got but there's no need to worry i've got four massive plants okay and i actually have some leaves from it to use and i have one which is basically for seeds i have it only to really produce seeds for me so i could sell the seeds okay well guys i hope indeed that this encourages you to try your best to grow your pineapple as i advise you i have other videos on how to plant the pineapple sucker so you could actually look into it i'll put the link below i would like to thank you guys for of course subscribing and staying around and watching this video i hope indeed that you learned something from it and remember guys the backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and agus wade is out